All right, hello again. <laughs> We're here again with Super Metroid 100% again because I screwed up last night. Hey, Zaki, thanks for the host. Hey, DS, thanks for the good luck. Hopefully I won't need it. Hopefully I will remember what I figured out last night. I think I have my plan for the end game because honestly, I could have done one of two things to not have screwed myself over at the very end. Um, well, one of three things, because the other choice is I could have just not saved where I did, which was me completely getting too full of myself, and pride comes before the fall, all that jazz. Um, what I need to remember, though, is all of the stuff that I had to do to get to that point, and what order I did things. Because there were definitely a couple of near misses in terms of what could have gone wrong, and actually, EI probably helped avoid a disaster earlier on, which, like, I'm hoping I would have realized it right when I got there, but who knows. Anyway, let's go in here, set up another uh, file. <clears throat> we'll leave the first one to look at, look on, and feel either good or bad about. Um, and we will start here. Am I going to snipe any bosses, then leave and return to their boss room? No. <laughs> No, for the most part, I'm going to see whether I can... Like, Krokemeyer, uh, yeah, you're right, that would be fun, but that would also mean, like, either dropping grapple early or coming back and dropping grapple later, which is way out of the way, and I have no reason to do that. Actually, I'm trying to remember, I think I might not have even had Charge Beam for Krokemeyer last night. I think I may have been Missile and Super only. I had wave, but, like, I didn't have charge, so it didn't matter. Uh, which went fine, actually. So, like, we might do that again. Um, I'm not really expecting to alter my plan too much. One thing I am thinking of altering is... I shouldn't have killed the music so soon, but I don't want to put the mu I don't want to put the game sound on until I'm about to go in. Uh, because lol DMCA, false positives. Um... One thing I might do differently is I might drop off Spring Ball earlier. I did Spring Ball I did Spring Ball after dropping off Space Jump and that was kind of a pain in the butt. It's possible, but it's a pain in the butt. And I'd probably waste more time trying to do that just for path efficiency than I would going out of Meridia and back in again. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe at some other point in the future we can completely, we can try to shitpost on this and do, like, dipping in and out just to microwave bosses and then come back later to drop off items. That would be kind of funny. But I'm trying to go for some amount of efficiency in terms of speed. So last night I spent about 2 hours and 40 minutes on this before I realized I had screwed myself over. Hopefully, if, if things go well tonight, we will finish this in less time than that. So, let's see what happens. And let's turn on the game audio right about now. Oh, and let's start the timer. Kind of important. Uh, so another thing I might do differently this time, actually... Would have been faster to use Speed Booster, but... I did this, like, midway through last time, but I might as well do it now. And we didn't screw that up this time, so that's an improvement. Now I should be able to do this. Did I do that from the right platform? Is it this one? I actually forget which platform it is. Why can't I get this thing no matter what I do? That wasn't charged. Is it because I have plasma? I don't normally have plasma for this. What am I doing wrong? Or did they patch this, which... 
No, they didn't. I just suck at doing it now, apparently. You watched my, the VOD for my finding of the final. You were guessing the last PB to return would be the... That might work, I suppose. Oh, you... God damn it. Alright, fine. I guess we're doing it the slow way anyway. Well, this is an embarrassment. No, you know what? We're resetting. <laughs> I am not accepting that. I am not that bad at this video game. So, we're gonna do this again. Oh, uh, do I need to reset the controller settings again? No, it actually saved them? Really? It actually saved them. Okay, cool. I don't know when it would have... I guess it saves it the ship immediately. Uh, that's the wrong button. There we go. What the... I just hit down... <laughs> I'm never going to start this ever again. I somehow hit down to go into the ship. Alright, cool. Let's do it a third time. Okay. That's too low, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Reset hunting. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Now I screwed it up like I did yesterday. Man, it's only been, what? A month or two since I did- since I improved my 100% PB and now I forgot everything. see if it works with this weapon. Does it really not work that way with plasma? I think I'm just bad at it. I don't know. That time I got a first try with Spazer, so... What? The, the, where? Where was my down input? God damn it! You can get a triple charge there, but all right, fine. We're just not doing it. Oh, for crying out loud! Really? I'm starting to think my controller is rebelling against me. All right, we're trying this one more time. Like seriously. That one's on my controller. Well, that and the accidentally entering the damn ship, too. What? I thought I hit reset and not reset and restart. Well, now we're restarting. There we go. This is a really bad sign if I can't even do simple shit like this. Alright, here we go. Okay. So far, two for two. I shouldn't be taking this as seriously, but you know, I have to have some amount of principles. I've played 100% before. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna go straight to Spazer. First try on Spazer. Alright. All you had to do. Thank you. <laughs> now the question is, what do I want to do when I get out of here? Because last time I went straight down to Ridley. Uh, 
I forget what the reason is for doing this earlier in the 100% route, because, like, you can do it towards the end. Oh, but normally you don't come up this way. Normally you go through Green Hill Zone, so it would have to be a different route entirely. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't notice it was doing full heal. It also makes the pain noise if you actually lose health from where you were at. But I did wonder about that, and I never actually paid attention to it, because that did cross my mind last night. Alright, uh... Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay, this guy's dead. We could do Big Pink right away. I waited a while to do that last time. But we could do that now. I don't think there's any reason I need to wait on that. I did that sort of midway through last time. I forget if I did that... I guess I did that probably around the time that I did Gauntlet last time, but I did that after... Did I do that after Fantoon or before Fantoon? I don't remember exactly when I did it. Alright, we're not doing uh, Ron Popiel yet. That we're waiting for the end. Hey, Lex. We're, we're up to this shenanigans again. We're doing things in a slightly different order here, though. I decided to do Gauntlet first. We'll see if I regret doing things this way, but it should be fine. Uh, I did the same thing last night. Oh, I meant to jump off of that, and I totally missed the jump. But yeah, you can kind of do certain things in here easier when you've got space jump and whatnot. Uh, that might... No, it didn't miss. Okay, good. Oh, totally missed that input. We're not going to get smooth this time. Oh, we have Spring Ball. That's right, it's way harder to do this with Spring Ball, but I just did it anyway. Get he get hecked. I actually got that first try last night, so I feel kind of bad about it this time. <laughs> And the reason I wanted to... Oh, that's right. I came back here, I think, when I was about to do, like, Upper Norfair or something, because I would need the, uh, Wave Beam to do this. I might have done it earlier than that. I don't remember. Also, where the hell am I going? I need to be up there. What am I doing? Also, we're gonna have an easier time of Charged Cistern this time. Very nice exit. <laughs> Tonight we get to do the uh, canonical happy family, though. I wonder if I'm going to regret dropping all these power bombs off earlier. And we've got Spring Ball, which lets us do that a little faster. Okay, uh, next up is... Nope. Still not ready for down there yet. Oh, God. Right, I dropped off X-Ray first thing last time. I wonder if there's any reason I shouldn't do that. Really? That was wrong? Here we go. I think I'm still gonna drop off X-Ray first because I don't think I'm gonna have it... Like, I'm gonna be dropping off Plasma anyway. The most I would be able to use it for is, I suppose, Dragon and Botwoon, if I didn't drop it off now. But I don't want to not drop it off now, because then I have to do that without Space Jump, and that would be kind of annoying. Alright, time for Happy Family. Credit to, uh, Breakdown, 777. 
Look at the happy family. Look at them. Blah! There you go. That's the happy family. The end. See, there you go. We took damage that time because my energy was actually higher. I was so happy about being able to do Happy Family that I completely forgot about, like, trying to do this fast and opening the door for myself earlier. Okay. Uh, we did everything over there. Now we need to do this. The Hopper Chopper. Uh, we do not want to drop off Charge Beam yet. I mean, well, actually, you know, we could. That would be a bold move, though. I'm not sure I'm ready to do that. We can easily come back after Green Hill Zone and do that. Or, like, rather, when we're on our way through Green Hill Zone to return to Retro Brinstar, we can do that. And I... Th I think I'll be leaving... Oh, I forgot to do the fast thing there. I think I'll be leaving Retro Brinstar for later. Is that too far left again? No, we actually did it correctly this time. Uh, can I actually... Can I manage to get a spin jump up there? Yes, I can. So we'll leave charge just in case. I actually don't think I'll... Well, for Botwoon, if anything. Yeah, for Botwoon, it'll be helpful. So I'll leave it. Oh, well, that's not how that's supposed to work. Uh, debating whether to leave this, but I'll probably forget about it, so let's just do it. So we did basement, we did big pink. So the only thing we have to think about in Brinstar is charge. Retro Brinstar, of course, and Ron Popiel. Okay. Now we are going to Ridley. No, now we are going to X-Ray. Then we are going to Ridley. Oh, there was a thing there. That's what I wanted to do. At least I didn't gate myself out in that room twice like last night. I am missing all sorts of Moonfall opportunities here. I need to, like, really think about where I can use that. Alright, last time I, I dropped Spazer off super early, and that was not a problem, so I'm gonna do that again. Plus, now we already did Gauntlet, so... We're gonna have to pick a time to do top of Red Tower. Well, I suppose we'll have to go up to Fantoon anyway, so that'll be fine. Misjudged my speed coming into that. Okay, so we're just going to go straight to Crumble Blocks and go that way and not worry about anything else in Upper North here right now. I could have done this the fast way. 
I felt like abusing uh, screw attack instead. If we wanted to bully Croc, now would be the time to do it. But we're not going to bully Croc this time. Maybe we'll try to do that in some future rendition. I'm gonna play it safe and save here in case I do something regrettable. I didn't save here last night and I was fine. And I should be fine given that I run 100%. Uh, that's a good question. <clears throat> it's I think it's pretty hard to hit Spore Spawn with Plasma or Spazer because of his hitbox. Because of the hitbox of the you know, the roof and bottom of his mouth. It would have to be charged, though. I'm pretty sure non char Like, I'm pretty sure uncharged wouldn't... Wouldn't do damage. I'm fairly certain it blocks wave, yes. I'm fairly certain it blocks everything. Almost forgot to jump. That was one of the reasons I saved, in case I did a dumb thing there. I don't think that would be possible. Oh shit, I screwed up. Well, I got this really easily last night, but I totally screwed it up tonight. We're getting the backup on this side. Really? That still wasn't enough for the charge? Good grief. Alright, fine. We're doing it this way again. That was not the direction I meant to point. Alright, that works. Please tell me that's high enough. Good. Last night I brain farted and power bombed that. You don't need to do that. I almost did it again. Power wreck ship, you mean after Fantoon? 
Yeah, I wondered about that. Like, would they reverse that? But, nope. Don't forget to jump here tonight. That is not the hole I usually fall down, so that was interesting. That should be fine. Forgot to lay the second one. forgot to even attempt the Kego there. I usually don't get it anyway, though. Alright, getting health bomb there is actually helpful. I was thinking I might want to farm some energy. Uh, jump please? <laughs> Where did my jump input go? <clears throat> oh, you jerk. We should be more than fine. I just, I just supered that door again, even though it wasn't a monster door anymore. Oh, you jerk. Oops. should be dead. You should be dead. Thank you. Last time he was so dead he disintegrated on me before I even ran out of supers, which was weird because I thought I counted about 30. Jumped too early that time. Totally fudged that. I uh, I turned too soon to get the damage boost. 
Yeah, there you go. Full energy. Uh, excuse me. Good jump. Yeah, last time I last night I had a really clean room there, and tonight, nope, totally not. Okay, we should be done with Lower Norfair at this point, pretty much. Other than Three Musketeers room coming up. Yeah, I got the quick fall on the left side at least. I totally botched it on the right side. Not be, could you consider not being a jerk? I totally skipped these guys last night. I totally didn't skip them tonight. Totally botched those too. We can do top left of this now, we can do bottom right of this now, other than that I'm not interested in doing anything here. of the trash taken out. I forgot you can completely obliterate these guys with this beam. Doesn't help your speed, though. <laughs> Getting a running start there is apparently meaningless. Bomb on the left first, because we can go through Speedway to get back, given that the very last time through here is when we'll have to do Cathedral anyway. I wasted time going through Cathedral to put back that missile early last night. I realized that wasn't worth it. There was no reason to do that. Pretty next. I have to think about this a little bit because I want to do Spring Ball f before uh, before Dragon.
We're still gonna do the left pit first in that case, because Spring Ball is... Oh, what? I'm forgetting about something. Spring Ball is kind of uh, useful for left pit. Don't forget this. Rib. Whoops. Well, I'm down here again. I don't think I jumped it all that time. Yep. I'm actually low on supers. Enough, right? Yeah, we're good. I overthink the hell out of that <laughs> ever since I started having problems with it. I didn't charge long enough to get a uh, shine spark there. Eh. Space jump, I can actually still gain height there while I'm waiting for that crab to pass. Having a spring ball for the beginning of Marodi is actually kind of nice, though. One for that jump. Whoops. Eh, really? Thank you. And, uh, two for the jump and crab supers. One of these days I will drop all the way through there in one fell swoop, but it is not this day. Whoops, didn't actually mean to do that. Input didn't come out, and now I'm just pushing all the wrong buttons at the wrong times. Should I save here? Yeah, why not? everything else here later, but I want to do left pit now, and I want to do spring ball now. Because this is a nightmare without spring ball. We have taken out half of the trash. Oh, 
Oh, come on. See how much easier that was. Right pit is done later because I'm gonna have to exit anyway. Because the only way I'm gonna get out of here right now is by completely exiting and re-entering Meridia. Um, later on, I will be able to cross on through to Plasma Beam. I cannot do that right now because that only opens up after Dragon dies. So I'm gonna have to go out and in again. Which is why I didn't do this first last time. But doing this without uh, Space Jump is such a pain in the butt, I just figured let's do it, this, let's do it first this time. Get out of here, Snail. Also, Space Jump also makes getting out of this room arguably easier. I mean, there's not much difference between Space Jumps and single unit wall jumping anyway, but... Uh, this is the one hard one to do, if not impossible, with high jump boots on. So I'm gonna turn those off. Then it's easy. And then we can just do that. Yep, Plasma is boss locked. There is one other door that is also boss locked, which prevents you from going through... Uh, Cack Attack Alley. Oh, I actually landed. I wasn't sure that was gonna work. So, like, going up, like, normally, if I were doing this after Dragon, I would go up the middle right now. But there is no use in me doing that now. That was an interesting noise. Yeah, if they do bosses that, like, lock things rather than unlock things. That would make it more, ba more you know, properly reversed. I need supers. I should probably farm. Okay, well, that guy gets to live. No, supers. Supers? This is not supers. Don't these guys drop supers? These aren't the type that drop supers. Alright, fine. Whatever. You're wasting my time. Not having supers is a little bit concerning, though. Nobody is dropping supers, and I am very irritated. Dropping power bombs, but they're not dropping supers. It's okay, we have plasma for bot wound, it should be fine. I shouldn't actually need to depend on supers for anything here. Was a good start. That was also a good start. Oh my god. Okay, he's dead. Ma 
Imagine if I hadn't whiffed a bunch of shots and wasted a ton of time on lag frames. This back first, because it's easier to do that from here. I might as well just do it now. Oh, that's not going to do it. Yep. I botched a wall jump there, so I couldn't get half a... Oh, I hit the ceiling there. Wow, we're doing everything slow today. I have exactly one super. Perfect. That's what I need. <laughs> I am going to have to do this the slow way, though, because i got to kill a boss door. Good job, I didn't turn around. On the bright side, Dragon is laughing at me because I didn't turn around. Okay, please don't beat me up too much. That was interesting. It stopped to whack me before the grapple started doing its work. Don't think I've seen that before, but that's probably a common thing to happen. Alright, time to deposit one space jump. I'm trying to flash back and make sure I did everything in Lower Norfair. Yeah, I think last time I, I made note of, like, I was probably reaching Fantoon at around the same point that I would reach him in the 100% route. Which is where we should be headed off to now. That didn't really do what I wanted it to. Oh, it's too far right. Oh, what? <laughs> I stopped short. Way too far right. I did a better job of this last night. Oh, jeez. I at least got one damage boost in this room last night. Uh, do I need to go this way? I kind of need to go this way because Aqueduct. Or no, wait. Well, yeah. What am I doing? We do need to go around, though, so I'm actually wondering if going through Cack Attack Alley the normal way would be faster. I don't know. We're doing it this way. Too late. Because either way, we got to go both of these places. I got to do Aqueduct. We gotta do right pit. And then we gotta do plasma. where my D-pad is starting to really complain at me. Is 
Clipper was mentioning in her stream uh, sometime like last week that she replaces the, uh, the rubbers, I think, in her D-pad like almost monthly. I mean, she's a relatively high level super uh, blah, uh, Mega Man X runner. So, you can imagine that induces some wear and tear. Uh, and she said it's, like, I'm I'm kind of intimidated of the thought of trying to do that, but she said it's actually not really a big deal. She was doing it when she was, like, five years old. <laughs> uh, this is right pit. Yes, we are going left then. And I might want to think about doing that, honestly. Hey, I had exactly one super once again. Great. I hope I don't need any more of those. <laughs> that would have sucked if I was out of supers. Uh, I might need one for the way back. I guess I don't have to go back that way, but... It would probably be faster to go that way. Because I should be done with everything else. So, if I could get a super, that would be great. Hey, I just got one. Nice. Now, don't forget, shoot the pirates first. No supers from the eggs, whatsoever. Put plasma back. This is one room where you kind of do have to think backwards. <laughs> I could do this multiple ways, but hey, I actually got that faster than last night, so. And I forgot- didn't forget to not bother shooting the eggs on the way out this time. Hey, we even got another one. We should be done with Meridia at this point. Oh, whoops. Hello, ceiling. Oh, jeez. It wouldn't be Meridia without getting stuck in sand. At least once. Never farms supers because never misses a shot. Except when the crab eats it right there. That happened last night, too. Somehow I have exactly one super again. How does this keep happening? Uh, alright. Now what are we doing? Now we have to go up Red Tower. Me, look at me thinking I can do the Shine Spark thing here. I can't because the tank is out. Alright, well the Cack Attack here should give me one. We did not visit Cack Attack Alley at all tonight, so that's a difference. I'm really hoping I didn't somehow forget something in Meridia. But... Going through my head, uh, going in my head through, like, what I would ordinarily do going forwards in 100%, I'm pretty sure it checks out. Oops. Imagine doing this the intended way? Holy crap. I didn't do that last night. Did I just, like, powerbomb them anyway last night and not even think about using ice? So I'm trying to think. I guess you could leave these powerbombs to last, technically. As long as you open the door to this earlier. Otherwise, you'd be stuck. Uh, we, we'll still have to do that. We're not, we're not at that point yet. Uh, I don't have supers, so that was the wrong number of uh, 
Button presses. We have to IBJ at the bottom part after we give up uh, high jump boots and ice. Oh, well. We didn't do this last night. I keep doing it. Alright, I need those. I should probably save now. Because I'm pretty sure that we're okay so far. Plasma or screw attack or something the last time I came in here. Because I was able to wreck those guys without needing to uh, power bomb. So I did something different. Whoops. So yeah, if you were to go up here, power bomb on the way out, and then power bomb immediately outside so it opens the orange door from the other end, you could you could do what you were suggesting and leave this for last. And have this be the last power bombs. But it would be kind of out of the way. Well. Realizing I don't have nearly as much energy as I would like. I do have reserve tanks though, so it's probably not a big deal. I'm gonna do this first so that we don't have to do it without gravity later. Super, I think that's just enough, again. But I'll have to open the monster door slow again. We do have two suits, so like that also gives us an edge on the Fantoon fight. Considering my energy level. Alright, let's see what happens. We got a three cycle last night. I'm not expecting to do that again, but we'll see. Oh, okay. We're not wasting any time. Holy shit. Fantoon is apparently speed running. Particularly good. I don't think we're gonna get a three cycle. I think I had dropped off charge before this point. Last night. And we do need to char drop that off at some point. Uh, 
uh, this is questionable. He's not dead. Figured I'd try it. He's probably got like one hit left, watch. Oh, whoops, that's not what I want to do. I fucking told you, he's got one hit left. <laughs> Can't make it up. Bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> whoops. Meant to jump first. Uh, whoop. I was like, wait, I can spring ball jump. No, I can't. Uh, I will need those again. I might have done that last night, too. You know what, we're gonna try, yeah, just doing YOLO strats here. And then we're gonna fuck that up. Good job. We're gonna get our energy back anyway, so who cares? I knew I was going to run into that. This would happen last night, too. Perfect timing. Alright, I didn't get hit by the platform, but it ate my shot. Whoops. to fail at dancing with robots. Why is this not working? I'm not spin jumping. That's not even why it's not working. No, good, good. Then just go in there, that's fine. That's one way of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Once again, I have one super. Uh oh. This could actually be risky. I'm gonna farm another super. I should not have shot that super. This is not the right place to be. What am I doing? This shouldn't be a problem, but I could lock myself out. I, I, it wouldn't soft lock, but I would have to go through everything again. I need a super, guys, please. You're not gonna give me a super, are you? You gave me a super. Awesome. Okay. That key hunter is my best friend, and now he's dead. So, I brought that time waste upon myself. The reason I want a second super is in case I take too long here. The only alternative would be I would have to drop out and go through wreck ship again. Oh, well. I barely made it out anyway. We, wouldn't, we didn't actually need it, but... Better safe than sorry. Oh, look, there's another one. Taking out three quarters of the trash. Alright. Now we go back to Norfair. Let me think about that for a second. Oh, of course I fell in here again like an idiot. It's very easy to not fall in there, I'm just not thinking about it. Anything else that I wanted wave for? Because the one thing about getting rid of wave is we have to gate glitch into Green Hill Zone, which I did do. I think we're ready for Norfair though. Unless I remember where the hole is here. Here we go. Crab. thinking about... thinking back to, like, did I forget to put anything anywhere? But I think we're fine. Yeah. 
Old Tor what about Old Torian? Where am I going? Oh, 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 oh. You mean before doing Norfair? Uh Yeah, and I'm going this I'm going the slow way there now, aren't I? Alright, well, I have an idea. Yeah. We need it's not wave I should be thinking about, it's speed booster I should be thinking about. Alright, well then we'll go this way. Well but we might as well go and put charge back now. Um I could ostensibly do some of the Retro Brinstar stuff now, but... Because I think I did some of that stuff early last time. Oh, and actually... No, wait, I did that already. This should be the only thing left here we didn't do. I just would be on the way out of Norfair. But that's true, too. I made life harder for myself last night by, uh... By getting rid of ice earlier. Which isn't impossible, once you remember how to bloody do it. Uh, I have no charge and I have three supers. This is actually kind of terrifying. I also only have two power bombs, which is not actually enough to do Billy Maze right now anyway, so I guess we're not doing it. However, what I can do now is put back the E tank here. We are not putting back C zone missiles. I will probably leave those for the end. Unfortunately, I can't do Billy Maze right now. Uh, unless I get a lucky power bomb drop somewhere. But I can do Shaft, which is what we should be doing. But yeah, I might have actually forgotten about Shaft if not for that. Which would have been fine and just wasted time if I don't. As long as I don't save, but... I should have power bombed. I do have enough to do that. Try to do it the uh, smart way once, anyway. Yeah. Who needs ice? I totally flubbed that last night. After a fast, Samus reminded me that that's how you're supposed to do that without ice. I had done it in the past, I just completely forgot about it. Let's go do 2.30 while we're here, the bane of my existence last night, because I thought, we can leave that for last, right? No, you can't. Because you need power bombs or bombs to do that. Hanging onto this power bomb, paranoid that I'll need it somewhere, but I shouldn't.
Um, I will probably loop back around a ship and go up Red Tower again. Or down Red Tower again. It is called Dentist. Because 230? Tooth hurty? It is called both of those things. <laughs> That's why it's called Dentist. I'm not gonna save at this point. So we're already down to five supers. We have one other PB pack, which is the one behind Croc. And we have a gazillion missiles. Crab, again! Uh... I probably should have gone down and done Billy Mays. Probably should have done that. It shouldn't be out of the question. I just need to make sure that I have enough power bombs. Like, I should basically be going in with full power bombs. Yeah, that's what I originally thought about Dentist 2. Was that it was a joke because of the four blocks. But yeah, it's the last missiles, which gives you 230. When you're playing Hundo. at the end. Doesn't matter. It might end up actually wasting time to not do it first. Do I want to do this first, or do I want to do this last? I should probably do that last. Uh, what am I doing? Frog Speedway. Frog Speedway in, Cathedral out. We got the Kego. Nice. I wasn't even facing the direction I usually face to do that. We are gonna have to do Grappleless Croc Escape again, which is fine. EI made me all scared about that. Uh, good job. I'm never going to manage to get three. I'm pretty sure it's technically possible to get three missiles. Now I'm not even getting two. Okay, there we go. I might have gotten three there. Croc's last stand. Yeah, I thought so. He wasn't done. I'm gonna get one energy back from this. You know, I have grapple. I could actually avoid taking damage here. But where's the fun in that?
Uh, this is fine. I do need power bombs, but we still have power bombs. This is fine. Let's do that last. I might have done that first last time, but it would actually be smarter to do that last, because I can still do the speed booster strat out. that duck input one. I mean, it, it ducked, but it also didn't charge. the slow way. to do croc escape. I think last time I did this I might have done two separate trips through Norfair. Frog Speedway one more time. I don't wish I knew what my max missile count was now. I'm gonna look at this really quick. We're about to put Wave back, we're gonna put Ice back. Yeah, we're gonna be putting all that stuff back. The only thing that's gonna be left is just Miners. did the item down bottom right, didn't I? Yeah, I seem to remember doing that before, but I'm paranoid, so I'm gonna go double check anyway. Yeah, I did. I did that back when I did Ridley Escape. Uh, do wave first. What, really? That works. I'm trying to think. Like, I don't necessarily have to go 
through Green Hill Zone to get to Retro Burn Star, but that would probably be the fastest way to do things. Because otherwise I would have to climb all of Red Tower and go all the way back down the shaft and whatnot, so... Uh, yeah, I'll take those. Now might be a good time to farm for power bombs. Though I'm not sure what likelihood there is of the guys up here giving it to me. Uh, more likely than you'd think. I already got four now. Just need one more. Alright, fine. Four might be enough. I need three for Billy Mays. Whoops, well, that porch light got it. just need to put ice back. As far as majors go here. And we already did crumble blocks item. There you go. Five. I've never tried doing that before, and I just got it first try. I will never do that again, probably. Uh, now we gotta go back out this way. We gotta do the missile here, don't forget that. And we gotta do high jump boots, don't forget that either. Open, please, thank you. <laughs> Unwarranted super. This is what I get for not doing ice first. I don't have speed booster for that. Get out of there, Samus. Samus just really wants some tang right now. If there's any way to avoid having to IBJ your way out of the bottom of Red Tower in this ROM hack. I'm guessing people are speedrunning this, so I could probably look something up and see what people do. But, I mean, you gotta get out of here somewhere. Or somehow, rather. Uh... like to avoid using power bombs if at all possible. Although again, three should be well, four should be enough. Uh high jump boots. Because you need one to get in and then you need three two to get into Billy Maze and one to get out. And then one to get back to 
where to put the power bombs, actually. Really? That still wasn't fast enough? Alright, we'll get it on the way out. I, can't, I will never not forget to jump out of this room, but that's okay. We need to go back down here anyway. Okay, we're actually getting down to a countable number of missile packs, so we've got eight left. Trying to see how many I can account for. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I didn't... What? I thought I hit the select button. Don't forget to do this one. Let's see what happens with Kraid. Last night, I said something about not expecting to get the quick kill by any means. And I got it once, but then I had to reload and I didn't get it the second time. Nope. You gotta be really precise on the uh, timing of when to make him open his mouth. So I have seven missile packs left. I kind of want to think about this now. <sighs> There's three in Brinstar. In green Brinstar. There's... Oh, yeah. And then there's four in blue Brinstar. We're fine. I wasn't counting Billy May's room. Like, hello? <laughs> That's the entire thing I've been planning for this whole time. I didn't think I did the jump out of there, but I got away with that anyway. Alright. I'm not gonna use a power bomb here. I wanna save them. BT will be before final missiles at the very least. Maybe even before power bombs. I may make it so the power bombs are the last thing I place, because really, if I had done that last time, I would have been fine. Alright, time to dig our way out of here. Time for riveting gameplay. Yo, I actually got that. I 
actually got that too. Holy crap, what is this? I actually learned how to play a video game. Uh, Alright, good. We have supers because I'm going to want to use those. And here is your riveting gameplay. We have to do BT before we get rid of our last missiles. Now that I think about it, I don't actually need power bombs to get out of Billy Maze, do I? I'm forgetting that technically the block at the top of that shaft is not a power bomb block, I'm pretty sure. You can screw attack through that, I think. So, you, and I'm pretty sure that means you can regular bomb through it. Well, we have to try to do this. We could go through the top. That's the other option. But this is the faster way, so... No, I was gonna think about saving somewhere, wasn't I? Oh, well, we can get some supers back from these guys in case we need extra chances. Okay, here we go. Second frickin' try, I'll take it. You might want to farm some health here. Did I do this already? I'm pretty sure I did this. Yeah. My math wouldn't have checked out if I hadn't done that. Okay, give me a super, sure. Alright, that's fine. And that's how you can do that. Without needing to do any other shenanigans. That would really help if I aimed in the correct direction. Jump over this. You'll come back for that. We'll also come back for construction zone. So there's going to be some up and down and up and down here anyway, I suppose. I think it's going to be too far over. Yep. Alright, let's try something. That's too far down. That should work. Yeah, you don't need a power bomb for that. Yeah, so last time I came here earlier because I actually needed to unequip high jump boots. And I still had wave beam. No, it doesn't. Otherwise it would be impossible to get up there without screw attack, basically. If it does, it takes a long-ass time. I suppose we could have left those missiles instead of construction zone, but eh. Six of one, half dozen of another. 
Okay, let's go up and do... Uh, not BT yet. We need to do Brinstar first. I suppose... I wonder which is faster, actually, going this way to Green Brinstar or the other way. This might actually be slower. This is actually almost definitely slower, but here we are. This is almost definitely slower, but it doesn't require power bombs and jumping over that one thing that we don't want to put back by accident, so there is that. Oh, you thought the delay on them? I think it just makes placing them easier, because you've got a gargantuan blast radius. Uh, it shouldn't matter if I put the sea tank back now. Uh, well, actually, I would prefer not to. So let's do that on the way back. Because these guys... Although, I mean, I could just missile them. Like, why am I doing that strat here? On the way back, though, those guys could be a bit of a problem. Alright, so, after this, we will have... We should have five missiles and five power bombs, basically. And we're putting back the last bit of trash, too. We've taken out the trash. I'm being very sparing with power bombs here. Like, I could probably afford to come back with just one and I'd be fine. I forgot something. <laughs> Hang on. I'm glad I'm realizing these things like a room away. Alright. Goodbye, Brinstar. Well, green Brinstar. I suppose I could go back through. Yeah, why am I going the long way again? Like, I could presumably just go through pink Brinstar again to get where I want to go. I would just have to deal- well, no. I mean, we have to put back this energy tank, so... our energy pack again. Okay. Um, it should be safe to do BT now. I was manipulating some RNG, sure. I can't get the right spot, help. 
that might be work. That might work. I can't words. Oh, well, that was dumb. That was also dumb. Can you, uh, spit your things again? No? Good talk. Alright, fine. <laughs> I wonder if he doesn't spit the things after the first, like, pattern. Like, once the first bit of them blows up. I thought he still would. I mean, obviously, once he's lost his head, yeah, that's that's another story. Really? I mean, I have power bombs. I could go the other way, but come on. We're doing Alcatraz. I am going to save. This is where I saved last night and screwed myself over, but I'm pretty sure we're good this time. And there is a particular reason I want to save. Because I want to test something. And I'm not exactly sure how the end of this behaves. So that is another reason for me going back that way, rather than through Brainstar. So yes, going that way was actually the correct choice. Okay. We might as well put the power bombs back first. Because the one thing I did read in the documentation about this is if you were to put these back last, you would have to go up the elevator and back down, which actually I might still have to do. If the elevator is actually what triggers it, then this won't actually do me any good, whichever order I do it. But I'm wondering if going through, like having the door transition, I wonder if that'll do it. But here we go. I'm gonna check here really quick. Yeah, we are good. All we have left is Morph Ball. Ow. Bonked my head on a gamer. Or whatever those are. Uh, so. I do have to go up the elevator. I'm guessing it's gonna switch to, like, powered down criteria or Brinstar. I hadn't read the docs. Yeah, see, now this is powered down. That's interesting. Because I probably would have been really weirded out if I hadn't read the docs about that. I would have been like, I put everything back. Where? Why can't I put Morph Ball back? Right, now I have to go up here, because I don't have Morph Ball, idiot. Now, I'm curious what happens at this point. Nothing is blowing up. So... I was thinking it might throw me into an escape sequence. Imagine climbing this without frickin' pirates in it. Whoops, I miscounted. So, the one other thing that I want to check... Oh, right, I don't have Morph Ball. I guess you can't save the animals in this, but also I guess the animals can't be saved. I mean, like, there are no animals to save because the place isn't blowing up. There you go, we did it. Will the ship actually leave? The ship actually leaves. <laughs> it's like, this planet's boring, I'm leaving. 
Excuse me, wait, and then the planet blows up anyway? What about the animals? Uh, so either they put the animals someplace else, <laughs> or the animals can't be saved. Unless, I don't know if I could have, like, went right back into Bomb Teresa's room after dealing with Bomb Teresa. I want to see what the, uh, what the end of this looks like. Like, does it actually say 100%? Does it say 0%? What? We gotta see this. But, that took me about... Like, that only took me a few more minutes than a 100% run would have. So, not too bad. Hack by Clockwise UK. And actually, if when you first boot this up, it replaces the Nintendo logo with Clockwise UK in, in the rounded rectangle instead. But okay, we got it on the second night. I feel better now. Missiles. Final missiles can't be under Ron P's wall. Um, or at least they can't be under the bridge, and you would be severely taking chances if you got rid of Bomb before then. But you can't even get there without Bomb. That was exactly what I ran into last night. Was, you gotta remember, there's that, that wall blocking Terminator Room. So you can't even get to Brinstar at that point. Because at first I was thinking, yeah, I would put those missiles back last, not thinking about the fact that I would need bombs twice. Which is why I say that, like, if I had held onto those power bombs until the exact, the absolute last moment, I would have been fine. Because I could have used power bombs for that. But I got rid of those power bombs as soon as I came back into Retro Brinstar last night, and that did me in. While we're sitting here, I guess I should talk about future stream plans. Depending on exactly what happens, um, I'm, I may have to skip streaming either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, or both, but hopefully not. Um, so, streams the rest of the week until, like, prior to the weekend or a little bit in the air. But weekend we should be back on for Quake. Alright, let's see what this shows. Dear Force! You can roll under which wall? If by Ron Popiel you're talking about Green Brinstar, you can't do the missile under the bridge because you need bombs to get out of there. And you can't get there in the first place. Yep, it says 0%. You can't get there in the first place from Blue Brinstar or Criteria because of the wall blocking Terminator room. Oh, you didn't mean that. What did you mean? Oh, you mean, okay, you mean the one before Billy Mays room. Yeah, no, that was, that was what I was talking about was a toss-up. You could either leave Construction Zone for last, or you could leave the one, uh at the right side of the Retro Brinstar room with the E-Tank in the ceiling. Yes, you could do either one of those. I think that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a toss-up. Because either way, you can't get rid of Morph Ball until last. That has to be the last thing you get rid of. Like, the hack ensures that. Um, trying to think if there would be any other things that you could potentially leave for last, but that's probably about it. Those are pretty much the only things you can get straight off in the beginning of the game, I think. Um, if you left the power bombs for last also, then you have a couple of other options. But anyway, that's a cool little hack, but yes, it gets the most interesting at the end, but there are many, many places where you can get yourself softlocked. And you do have to do potentially one or two 
speedrun-ish tricks, like, at the very least, infinite bomb jump. You might be able to get away without anything else than that. Like, you might not have to do the gate glitch that I did. If you went all the way around. I think that would also work. Uh, yeah. That should work. As long as you have either bombs or power bombs, you should be able to do that. Later. But... Yeah, so that would work, like, if you were... You could, like, keep your power bombs, come back from BT, and then do the bedpan. On your way back down... To, uh... To Retro Brinstar, but then you would have to put the power bombs back, and you'd have to go up and down again anyway. I don't know if there's a good way... I don't think there is a good way to avoid having to take the elevator up and down an extra time. At the end. Because either way, the last two missile pa one Either of the last two missile packs... If you get rid of all your bomb capabilities, you have to place one of those missiles last, which means you have to go up and down the elevator to reset. To, like, sleepy Retro Brinstar. And if you leave the power bombs to last, well, same thing. So... I think either way you have to elevator cycle. Because you can't- you have to have missiles to do BT unless you go and open BT's door and just taunt BT. You would have to go and open BT's door, then go back and do the other stuff, and then you could fight BT last, but then you'd be fighting BT without missiles, which is also slower, so. Probably not worth it. <laughs> but yeah, I... I might poke around to see if anyone has speedrun this. I don't really anticipate doing it myself. I would have to put a lot more thought into the routing. And I'm not a high-level Metroid speedrunner anyway, so... Anytime somebody who actually knows what they're doing gets around to it, they would mop the floor with me anyway. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right, right, right. Bedpan would be your last missiles, then. I for I'm not thinking about that being the item there. But... You can't do that. You need... Well... If you still had PBs, then yes. But you would need PBs, and then you'd have to take the elevator anyway. So yeah, I can't think of a way to not take the elevator. But yeah, I am, uh... I'm happy enough with 141, and, like, we didn't have to reload. The only- <laughs> I just had false starts where I wasn't happy with not getting into Gauntlet efficiently. That was it. That was the only resets, pretty much. And... I think that was the only resets. I don't think I actually... loaded a save beyond that. So, yeah. Not bad.